Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale and I have my old good friend back on the channel, Simple. Simple, what's up man? How you doing? What's up Ash? How you doing? Good evening, good night, good morning, wherever you guys are. And thanks for having me. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, man. It's always a pleasure. And, and we're going to cover your deck, which is your bread and butter, kind of like Rainbow plays that Lumberjack Hog deck and Jack plays 2.6. I consider this deck at this point synonymous with Simple. And we go way back. Simple, you co-host a lot of my streams with me, so we talk on a regular basis. And I get to see you dominate, as do my regular stream viewers. For those of you who don't know, I stream about five times a week in 10K tournaments. And recently... Simple actually won a 12 win, uh, 12 win grand challenge, 12 and 0, and then he won first place in the 10k tournament that I hosted just afterwards using this deck. So Simple, why do you still love this deck? You love on ladder and challenges and, and everywhere. So why do you love it, man? Well, basically, um, I fell in love with this deck a few matters ago, which was quite a few months ago. Yeah. And the reason I fell in love with it is because of the... Uh, the versatility of the two cycle cards I have in here, which are the bats and the goblins, I really feel like they provide a lot of uh, utility, especially against um, minor decks, battle ram, bridge spam decks. You can get a lot of good elixir trades just by using these two cards. And uh, yeah, it just provides a lot of versatility, and I still think that it works today very well. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, you're definitely going to try to prove it, uh, although you probably don't need a lot of luck. But you're 9-0 right now in a Grand Challenge, and we're going to try to finish this off for my lovely viewers live. So are you ready? I'm ready to go. All right. So why do you – go ahead and hop into a match, but why do you – I never see anybody run goblins anymore. Like, I never see goblins. I see goblin gang. Spear goblins, but rarely goblins. So you talked a little bit about it, but but why goblins? Why have you never given up on your gobos? I just feel like for two elixir, they provide a lot of utility. They don't die directly to poison. Mm -hmm. um, they do a lot of damage. Um, and besides that, as we face E-Drag here, Tornado, unfortunately. Yeah, right, E-Drag, okay. NATO, not a good start. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all right, though. But, yeah, I just feel like they provide you with a lot of utility. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I still use them. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. It's going to be, ooh, a Lumberjack, too. I wonder. It's got to be Golem, huh? Oh, no. That's not good for you, right? That's, like, a really tough match. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's, that's <laughs> it's funny. I I'm just going to say, off air, you're like, I feel pretty confident. As long as I don't, <laughs> don't go against <laughs> that deck that you shared uh, a few days ago with Flobby, which is the, the exact deck that you're facing right now. Uh, it, well, we're not 100% sure, but we'll see. Uh, so you go in with your second hog there. How do you handle a matchup like this? And, and it feels like as a hog player, which I am not, but you are, it feels like in this meta, there's just so many hard counter decks with, with numerous hard counters in there. So it, it, do you rely heavier on the rocket in matchups like this? I definitely do rely a lot on uh, my rocket. And I rely on things like um, just trying to generate a big elixir advantage. And basically, I'm trying to outcycle his tornado. That's really yeah. what I'm trying to do right here. And you did a good job of there and actually used his lumberjack in the opposite lane, which was an interesting decision on his part. Mm -hmm. Talk and a little I got bit about him to. Bit about... Mm -hmm. Go ahead now. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, I basically kept my princess alive here. That's always, a, a, you know, a little side mission. If you, you, if you can achieve that, it's always good. So. That's what I tried to do there. Was that just a cycle play there? The goblins at the bridge? Yeah, that was a cycle play. You'll see me do that a, a ton. Um, I'm going to pull this barbarian back here, actually. He's just going to NATO this, probably. And basically what I want to do now is... Um, I think I'm going to have to rock it at some point. Here's the E-drag. I am going to... Try to bring everything together. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully Let's I hit that. Okay, I do. Nice. We go through. He goes with lightning. That I'll drop my bat, sending a again. hog. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I wow, really wanted to swing there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to just log this. Chip. And then I'm going to go in with another hog. He's going to gold him. What is that golem doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was glitching out. Okay. He did get a swing there, but this is going to be a tough... Uh push to defend but I guess the good thing is as a hog player you're used to uh, defending annoyingly huge pushes like this yeah exactly nice clean defense there 
The good E-drag will deny everything, I think. One swing. Ooh. Man. So close. Let's see. So you're it's your two rockets away, but obviously you, you can you need a hog hit is what you're looking for yeah, here, right? I, but you can't. It's yeah. hard, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really tough to get one right here. Hopefully Oh nice. It's gonna work out. Get um, more chip damage from the log. This. Oh no, you're yeah. not, my bad. Sybil doesn't even want to mess around with that E drag. It's like, yeah, no thanks. Oh, this is actually Oh not good, not good. Oh those golemites. Okay, so now it's kind of a. Ooh. Oh, mm -hmm. man! The Curse of Ash I symbol! One hit. <laughs> it's alright, let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's do this. I like it. I like, you know, I, I say this all the time when we start with an L, but I, I appreciate you making the video a little bit more high pressure. <laughs> Here we go, into the next match. We're now 9 and 1. Plenty of room for. Uh, for another L, maybe, but we'll hope we'll, we'll do it clean mm -hmm. here against Drake Nate. So as far as starting plays hard. go, is uh -huh. it Princess in the back, like a bait deck? A lot of times, you you see, I just did it right there. I love to start off the uh, the game with just goblins at the bridge, see if my opponent al allows those to get through. Uh, and he did there, and you see we came off with a couple of hundred, uh, hundreds of damage there, so that's great. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in with the hog now, especially since he dropped that E-drag. I think... He has lightning. I hope not. I mean, uh, tornado. Well, let's see. He has tombstone. We get one swing. Two swings. Ooh, we get two swings. That's nice. really good. If you can get two swings with the hog, that's great. But, um, ooh. Let's go in here. I'll wait for that E-Dragon to lock on. He has Barbaro. Gets him so much value, so that's really good for him. Yeah, you do take care Fortune. of that. Oh. Are you gonna get it with death damage? No, princess will clean up though. Nice princess placement. He uses minor, not on the princess. Interesting. Do you have ice golem back? Right yep. Yeah, I'm ice golem mini pekka on that right there. Hopefully we can deal with this quickly enough. He goes e dragon. I want to go hog, um, but he drops a tombstone. So I'm gonna wait for my princess to uh, kill the tombstone, mm -hmm. and then we'll go for a hog. So you play Hog right into, okay, opposite land. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'll surround the E-Dragon just to mitigate as much damage as I can. Mm -hmm. This Get princess three is putting there. some work in for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'll let that one die. Cycle back. To, I'm back to another one already. So once he goes um, Lava Hound, I'm going to go Ice Golem Goblins, uh, whichever lane that he's not. Okay. And he just dropped his bar barrel, so I will tank. The, I will just tank this damage here, and mm -hmm. I'm full elixir, so I'm actually gonna just do it right now. I'm gonna predict his um, minor. Is take that care a play that. that you do often? Um, the ice golem with the yeah. goblins. Yes, I do do it quite frequently. Um, oh, nice. Oh. He's gonna pop the goblin hounds. Uh -huh. Maybe I can catch both. Ooh. Yeah, I don't catch both, but that's yep. okay. It's okay. Bats we have take the care of that. Clean up. Yep. He, I'm he's gonna, gonna go have for lightning. A right. No. I think so. Or but... poison? I don't know. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, okay, I one more hit. Lightning. One more hit. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, so you can log that out. 17 seconds left. Mm -hmm. And rocket, rocket time. <laughs> that's a that's a rocket right there. See if he has the lightning. If he does, ah. I'll go. Yep, super aggressive. I'm gonna predict the tombstone. And we go in. Get one. That's two, it, baby. G three. One more. Oh uh, man. It's all right. Yep. If he drops E Dragon in the back, I'll rocket it. Um, if he drops anything in the back, really, I'll go for a rocket here. Yeah. There's the E Dragon. Okay, so he's giving the double he's dragon, but you're gonna break through. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah. Let this go. I'll just catch that miner. Drop a princess. I'll drop bats on the e drag. The e drag is always the the focus to take out first defensively for us as hog players. Um, it really stops everything. We get one swing, and that's gonna be it. That's it. Rocket mob will take that out. Awesome. All right. GGs, yeah. man. Mm-hmm.
All right, so we're 10-1 right now. Come back at you with the next match. I think I have like a little bit of uh, audio feedback, so I'm just gonna fix that, and we'll come right back at, uh, with you guys. All right, here we go, guys. Fix the audio issue. You probably mm -hmm. got. You guys probably won't even be able to tell. So against uh, Kame or or Kami. Uh, so you said Goblin's your favorite play, starting at the bridge. What about like Princess compared to a bait deck? Are you playing her any differently, or is it basically the same kind of principles? Well, basically, it's it's the same principles, but um, you definitely want to try to uh, analyze the matchup you're against. Oh, and I think we're against the Three Musketeer. Three Musketeer. Yep, this deck is everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like this matchup, but yeah. let's see let's see how we do. In this matchup, you definitely want to protect your princess. Definitely. Um, yeah. You guys saw, oh, I tried to right there. Ooh. Didn't really work out, but let's see. Yep. I uh, I noticed uh, that there's somebody who's gotten 20 uh, Grand Challenge wins in a row with this deck. The one oh, you're really? Against. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I forgot the guy's name. Hello World? I think his name is Hello World. I've never heard of him before. I don't That's know crazy. who's on the account or what. But anyway, so three muskies, same lane. You have Rocket. Is that going to be the play? Yeah. It's a nice six for uh, nine trade there. You protect mm -hmm. your princess. Hopefully I get the two elixir. Nice. I do manage to get two elixir. Beautiful. So my princess is safe. Um, I know he has royal ghost and bats, so mm -hmm. he'll probably drop bats here. There they are. I want to try to go hog quickly. Maybe I can catch him without barbarian hut. Probably has barbarian hut though. Yeah. Oh, nice. 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 You got it. Perfect. Really good call on the having the wherewithal to know that he didn't have seven elixir yet. Mm -hmm. How do you know now, that? Do you how do you count elixir? Simple. Basically, I, I don't count uh, exact elixir. I just do uh, rough estimates. So gotcha. I saw he dropped. Oh, there's a fireball, and I use a lot of a lot of times. I use basically the timing that my opponents drop troops. So, for example, you saw uh, when I dropped the hog. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rocket this. Even if I only killed the two. You saw when I dropped the hog, he reacted with the barb hut very late. Um, things like that. Whenever my, my opponent, whenever I play a hog or something, and I, I, I kind of check the timing where my opponent places his defense for my hog. Mm -hmm. And then I can, you know, figure out that, oh, he doesn't really have, he didn't have enough elixir. He just got four elixir or he just got seven elixir to play the barb hut, you know? Sure, things sure, like that. sure. Totally hear that. So he fireballs here. He oh man, that's it. GG. <laughs> a nice uh, relative. You made it look easy at least, but you caught him twice with not enough elixir for that barb hut. Maybe he's mm -hmm. a little bit too aggressive with his fireballs there, but you make it look easy, and there yeah. it is. A quick 11 and 1. 11 and 1. And that's really the principle of this Hog Princess deck. You want to catch your opponent slipping on elixir to mm -hmm. where um, the small are. Two elixir cards get a lot of value. Sure. Um, what I mean by that is I'm searching for a match by yeah, sure. as well. And what I mean by that is um, if your opponent drops something left lane, a lot of times you guys will see me drop a hog right lane just to I want to split my opponent's elixir. Okay. Uh, I don't want I don't I, I never want as a hog player for him to have all his troops in one lane. I never want that because okay. the princess her ability is the insane range, right? So she can basically fight two lanes. And if you split your opponent's push, it's always weaker than if it's in the same lane, you know? Okay, um, so you always want to split their push. So you yeah. do that by attack being aggressive in both lanes. It looks like you're going exactly. against Graveyard or Golem. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I'm going to log and just cycle to an Ice Golem. Nice. And he poisons, so it's... Well, it's still either a graveyard or goal. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you go in with the hog. I notice that you're pretty aggressive with, with the hog. This is interesting, the prince in, in there as well. Mm -hmm. So you figure probably graveyard. Yeah, I'm thinking graveyard. Mm, and I'm pretty sure he has tornado as well. Yeah. Um, so and, another and matchup. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. To answer that about the aggression with the hog, um, basically, I do it a lot in this meta. I play a lot more aggressive because I figured... Oh, never mind. That's our wow, question okay. answered right there. But I'm still positive that he has... Um, NATO? Tornado. Yes. Yeah, because who runs Baby Dragon without NATO, right? Exactly. All right. So, 
Interesting though, like what else does he have? Okay, so he has Barb Barrel. <laughs> so I guess we know his deck. It's just a minor like poison. This. Ooh, he opts not to use NATO there. You connect with a hog hit and you take down that baby dragon. So he's only got mm -hmm. one breath. So you can just ignore there. Yeah. Nice. So well played. Against this deck, I really want to get him down to uh, basically rocket range. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. Nice. I do catch that. Nice. Yeah, because it's so tough to break through Tombstone and NATO. Exactly. So. You know, in a matchup like this, would you ever potentially play the princess at the bridge just to chip because it's so hard to get through? Or is that not something you really like doing unless it's like, you know, really I definitely low? would do that in this matchup. Um, okay. You got another hog Definitely. Mm -hmm. Right here, I'm actually... Oh, wow. What? <laughs> All right. What? We, both, we both didn't see that coming. Uh, yeah. now that, now that I see it though, so it's no NATO, no wonder, because you think you probably would have used the NATO before, but just like you said, it, going into this match, you're trying to get him to support the other lane here. Exactly. <laughs> Should be able to, yeah, take care of that just fine. Oh, did he miss Princess? He did. Oh, oh. my god. He's coming in with another Princess. You're staying aggressive with the Hog Rider, not allowing him to supplement that push. He comes in with a miner on your princess. You're not able to protect that uh, princess, but you have another one ready. And you have that tower already down to 810. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really hard to... Hold up. Please. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to take this prince. And I'm going to go for a hog. Okay gonna log okay and that's oh no swings okay let's see bats ooh. okay hog again mm -hmm. <laughs> this time what do you got okay he has tombstone <laughs> ah ooh. just okay, so one swing <laughs> just one it's all right Okay, he actually... Ooh. Hmm. That's a rocket. Yeah, it is. Are you going to catch it? Yeah, you do. Nice. So now you can... Okay, mini P.E.K.K.A. there. You don't catch the miner, but you uh, do have log in hand, so that's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Nice play with and the again, goblins. So now four cards. See, yeah, there you see the utility of the goblins. Catching miners, catching the prince. Yeah, you make game. it. And yeah, that's it. Wow, man. Very clean. Very well played. I'm used to it because I see this like every time I stream. But man, you're so. The thing is, you're so good with this deck that you make it look so easy. You're you making these guys look like they're you know. No offense to Blave, I'm sure he's a million times better than I am. But you're making it look like these guys aren't that good, you know. Yeah. But then I take it into a GC myself, and I'll be lucky to get you know six wins with it. So you know, maybe any final thoughts on the deck simple before we let you go? And I and I, I'd be remiss to not mention. That you do stream pretty frequently on Twitch at Simple C R and uh, Simple Eight K on Twitter. But yeah, any final thoughts on the deck, man? Well, basically, um, if you are struggling using this deck, definitely feel free to check out the stream. And one thing I can tell you for sure: practice, practice really does make perfect with this deck. This deck yeah. is a hybrid deck. If you master it, you can really beat any matchup even if it's a hard counter sometimes you'll have a tough time against tornado but i'm telling you man you master this deck master the art of the two elixir cycle cards and it is really a beauty man yeah dude i love watching you play this deck and of course guys be sure to go ahead and check out simple on twitch and uh and also check out my streams on facebook because i like i said i often have simple as a as a co-host and we get the privilege of watching him on a regular basis and uh really you know now i'm tempted i think i'm gonna go ahead and try out a grand challenge right now with this deck you've you've given me a little inspiration simple so thank <laughs> you for that bro all right bro all right appreciate it all right no problem you have a good one simple thanks again for coming on all right. Take care, Ash. 
All right, take care. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. A nice clean 12 and 1 GC by Simple. Again, check out Simple's player stats and profile thanks to StatsRail.com, along with his Twitch channel and his Twitter in the description below, along with a deck link, of course, if you want to give this deck a try. Huge shout out to Brent Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.